Welcome to the morning news. Please support growing channel by the press subscribe. Putin claims Russia has nuclear arsenal capable of avoiding missile defenses. Moscow, Russia has developed nuclear weapons that can avoid missile defense systems and plans to bolster its arsenal with nuclear powered cruise missiles capable of hitting any point on the globe. President Vladimir Putin claimed in his annual State of the Nation address Thursday. He also warned that Moscow would mobilize an immediate response to any nuclear attack on it or its allies, adopting Cold War style overtones that appeared to ramp up Russia's posturing against the West. Putin's speech, which began with a rundown of domestic projects, was capped by a harsh rendering of East West tensions and boasts over purported major advances in Russia's arsenal such as a nuclear-powered cruise missile that could strike anywhere. Putin cast the new plans as a response to U.S. development of missile defense systems that, he claimed, were meant to challenge Russia's nuclear arsenal. His remarks appeared aimed as a message to Washington in the wake of the Trump administration's recently announced plans to develop new nuclear arms and questions over the future of arms control agreements between the United States and Russia. His speech also carried a domestic political context, less than three weeks before a presidential election that Putin is widely expected to win. The Kremlin is hoping for high turnout March 18 that would deliver a stamp of legitimacy on a new, six-year term for Putin. His descriptions of Russia's new weapons came punctuated with videos projected on the screen behind him, which were greeted by applause from the assembled lawmakers and top officials. Putin said the United States had failed to take Russia's nuclear might seriously or to adequately negotiate arms control. U.S. efforts to contain Russia, he said, had failed. No one listened to us, Putin said. Listen to us now. Putin claimed that, late last year, Russia had successfully tested a cruise missile that was propelled by a nuclear-powered engine. This engine gave the cruise missile an effective unlimited range, he said, distinguishing it from existing cruise missiles that typically have a range of about 600 miles. The missile would be able to fly close to the ground and follow an unpredictable flight path, rendering existing missile defenses useless, Putin said. Tests of the technology he said, will allow the development of a complete new type of weapon, a strategic complex of nuclear arms with rockets fitted with a nuclear propulsion engine. Such a missile would represent a major technological breakthrough, said Alexander Galtz, a Moscow-based independent analyst of the Russian military. There was no independent confirmation of Russia's development of the technology. But weapons experts he had spoken to after the speech, Galtz said, we're all in shock, like me. This is the start of a new Cold War, Galtz said. This is an effort to scare the West. Putin also said that a multi-year testing cycle for a nuclear-powered underwater drone, which can carry a nuclear warhead, was completed in December 2017. Means to resist them simply don't exist in the world today, Putin said of the underwater drones. The nearly two-hour speech in a historic hall just outside the Kremlin walls began with a series of promises to improve domestic living standards. Russia, Putin asserted, had responded to U.S. development of missile defense shields by developing weapons impervious to them. On the big screen behind him, video footage and computer graphics showed off the new weapons. In one animation, the nuclear-powered cruise missile was shown flying across the Atlantic, rounding the southern tip of South America, and heading up the Pacific toward the U.S. mainland. I hope everything that has been said today will sober any potential aggressor, Putin said. Putin cast the Russian weapons development as a response to what he described as U.S. refusal to work with Russian on arms control. Russian officials were angry over Pentagon plans announced last month to introduce two new types of nuclear weapons, plans that the Trump administration in turn, said were response to the threat from Russia. I will tell those who have been trying to fuel arms race for 15 years, and deter Russia's development using illegal sanctions, attempts to deter Russia have failed, Putin said, harking back to the Bush administration's withdrawal from the anti-ballistic missile treaty in 2002. Russia's growing military might is a reliable guarantee of peace on Earth, 
because this can continue to help maintain strategic balance and the global balance of forces. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget subscribe to be the channel.